a bloody meta gift that Wes Craven would be proud of. Get ready for the third act. I like the fact that they use the same formula, same script structure, and it's also quite predictable. To me, Screen 5 does feel a lot like the Spider-Man No Way Home of horror movies. Hi, saya Wan Muhammad pada Basport TV. BAAAAAAAAK! Don't know! I am not in the movie! Stop! Stop! Damn it! The first time I watched the first Scream, it was really a what the fuck moment lah. In the sense where Kota Gejut is so original, orang tak pernah buat. It's the same setup. The setup is just exactly the same as the Scream 5 that we see this year. It's predictable in terms of where the movie is going, but it's unpredictable to reveal who the actual killer is. And speaking of predictability, it's okay to do a movie with the same formula and the same aspect as long as you make it enjoyable. So I like the fact that they retain the same elements from the first four screen movies and it still work because Mark kata Mark Saleh, if it's not broken, don't fix it. I've watched Scream 1, 2, 3, 4 and I'm also a fan of Wes Craven's but I've watched all the Nightmare on, El on Elm Street movies and to me, like this movie, uh, I think even Wes Craven will be proud of because memang to me, this is a return to form for Scream. I think this is the best sequel since Scream 2. I think this is probably even better than Scream 4 in terms of the meta commentary, the uh, horror bits, the kills, the third act, especially the reveals. I think they're really good and would satisfy any Scream fan. I'm a huge fan of Scream, okay? Daripada 1, 2, 3. Aku kenal Scream ni daripada Scary Movie. Siapa lagi tak kenal kan? Scary Movie kan? Scary Movie 1 membuatkan aku tertanjanya. Film apa yang diorang parody ni kan? Pergi check it out. Oh, sampai melekat sampai sekarang kan? Dan honestly, this is by far sebab aku tengok Scream 1, 2, 3, 4 malam semalam. So, aku recap terus. Dan I had so much fun watching this fifth film. Memang best gila lah. Dia membawa kenangan kau waktu kau kecil, kau takut tengok ghost face. Ha, dia memang, oh shit. It was a tribute, it was a love letter for Wes Craven. It, it was, I don't know, everything about this film is so good. Yang aku tak tahulah, aku rasa aku, aku nak tengok banyak, banyak kali untuk film ni. Tapi itulah, aku rasa macam kena beli 4K Blu-ray, baru puas hati. Kan? <laughs> Tencim pula tadi. Director baru buat film Screen 5 dengan generasi sekarang tapi masih menampil, uh, menampilkan konsep-konsep dan elemen uh, yang lama lah. dia banyak beri homage kepada filem-filem klasik horror yang lain tau so kita boleh tengok lah macam mana cara dia orang mengubah skrim satu hingga empat ni ke, ke arah yang baru so sangat berlainan tapi still menam, uh, menetapkan konsep-konsep yang lama satu yang nampak best actually pernah tengok dulu masa kecil tak adalah kecil sangat masa remaja yang nombor 1 dan nombor 2 so yang baru-baru ni baru tengok nombor 3 dan nombor 4 so mengandingkan dengan Scream 5 ni almost uh, rasanya banyak benda yang surprise dan elemen-elemen yang rasa macam boleh memberikan kita satu nuansa yang menakutkan komedi dan juga rasa sangat dekat dengan Scream 1 hingga 4 to be honest, ini adalah first time aku tengok cerita Scream for the first time. Aku tak tengok the previous four. But I know the knowledge from Scary Movie because they make a parody of Scream and also I know what you did last summer. <coughs> Only based on that knowledge yang aku ada dengan apa yang Scream 5 ni berpersembahkan, aku suka sebab it make a parody of horror movie, psychological thriller. And lepas tu aku suka sebab dia ada kutuk benda yang memusnahkan franchise yang aku suka. Dia kutuk, dia kata seru buat benda betul-betul. Yes, Catherine oh. Kennedy, you're next. Oh, Catherine Kennedy, you're next. Aku fandom nanti sakiti, kau tahu tak? Aku suka screaming even though it's first time I'm watching it. And betul-betul buatkan aku every scene macam, kau nak buat apa? Kau nak buat apa? Pembunuh tu kat sama, kat siapa kan? And then aku terteka-teka siapa pembunuh. Sampai kan aku teka dua kali salah. Kali ketiga lah. Itulah aku teka awal-awal. Aku macam, fuck! But pada pendapat saya, the old cast was there is just to cukup kota je lah. So, so that the... Uh, old uncles like me will come and watch. But I think without the old cast, I think this movie can survive on its own. The best thing about the Scream franchise is it tries to draw the audience in by making it Allah. Mesti kau tahu apa akan jadi. Mesti kau tahu apa akan jadi. But towards the end, Allah, aku tak sangka benda ni akan terjadi. 
I like it sebab it fits the theme of a requel or a legacy sequel sama macam Star Wars The Force Awakens and Ghostbusters Afterlife the old cast came back kan uh, but to me I think the old cast needed a bit more screen time we see too little of Sid dengan Gil uh, but I like that David Arquette's Dewey gets his due in Scream 5 the new cast to me also does a great job it fits the archetypes from the first movie macam there's one horror expert knowing all and there's one jock and there's dumb girl who doesn't know anything ada mirrors of the first movie juga benda yang aku paling risau untuk filem yang berlarutan ni adalah kemunculan watak-watak lama dan sekadar fan service betul tapi this film gives a lot of uh, limelight and screen time kepada karakter-karakter baru tetapi tidak menidakkan kewujudan karakter-karakter lama. So, uh, walaupun screen time dia orang agak bukanlah sikit, banyak aje tapi bagi aku compare to screen 4, uh, memang kuranglah berbanding screen 4 kan. But it was a justice to the legacy characters dan the new characters. Sebenarnya uh, the old cast and new generation cast ni pun rasa macam satu pergerakan yang sangat bagus uh, oleh director sebab kita boleh tengok uh, tiga karakter yang lama datang balik dekat dalam filem baru so kita boleh tengok how dia punya karakter uh, lakonan dia orang boleh apa bagi seimbang so kita boleh nampak ah uh, how the character improve in this movie of all the five scream films are ranked number 2 i think the original scream is still the best one Obviously, the first Scream is the uh, number one. Uh, I think number two is probably still Scream 2, I guess. I would put Scream 5, number three. It's better than Scream 4 and it's definitely better than Scream 3. <laughs> Scream 3 is still the worst. Nothing beats the original, but there's something special about this film yang membuatkan aku rasa macam it's on par. In fact, aku lagi suka kan ni more sebab dia ada banyak momen-momen yang trigger kau untuk kau lebih oh oh, oh my god oh my god ah uh, macam tu lah memang git best gila my rating for this film is 7.8 out of uh, 10 my rating for screen 5 is 8 over 10 i'm going to give this 8 over 10 it's enjoyable movie ya yeah. terutama sekali film nak star wars yang betul-betul tegang macam saya sila tengok movie ni kau akan rasa puas lepas tu kita sama-sama boleh plan dengan Kathleen Kennedy kat rumah nanti ya hello Katie, long time no see Rating 9 per 10 untuk Screen 5. 5 per 5 bintang Infinity Stars. In terms of the jump scares and uh, apa ni, the camera work, it's it's the same. You can see a lot of the shots are on steady cam and it's always moving and everything, you know. So, to me, I still as someone who has seen all the movies, it's still predictable because at the end of the day, this movie, I just want to know who the killer is. To me, the directors for Scream 5, they did a great job in making the kills uh, really much um, dynamic and kinetic. Even though most of the kills still involve mostly knives and stuff, it's not really innovative. But the way they, sh they shoot the kills, it's really thrilling. There's quite a few jump scares juga. But to me, the jump scares aren't cheap. There's no cheap jump scares like there's no cat suddenly jumping because that's not West Craven style juga. There's also real like, tension when, when you feel like there's a killer coming after you. That's what you feel in this movie. That's what the characters feel. And you feel uh, the dread, the, the tension. And I like that. I nampak perbezaan lah antara Scream 1 sampai Scream 4. Scream 5 ni dia orang punya style dan juga uh, cinema shot, dia punya cinematography, dia punya looks, dia punya angle, setiap uh, pergerakan tu ada berbeza dan uh, bergerak maju sezaman. Ha, satu zaman dia. Dia tak dia tak kekalkan that 80s 90s punya vibe. Dia masih kekalkan the film untuk zaman sekarang tapi homage kepada the, the past film kan. Uh, but I aku present satu benda lah. Pengarah filem ni berjaya mempushkan karakter sehingga dia orang bagi the best of their performance. Kalau kau orang tak tahu Radio Not Samara Weaving top notch uh, dia, dia punya performance and dalam ni pun ada juga karakter yang macam tu yang membuat aku jatuh hati kepada dia memang oh my god aku tak boleh lah. <laughs> so untuk Screen 5 ni banyak uh, elemen daripada dua director ni berikan uh, sehebat mungkin dengan uh, Screen First. Uh, so kita dapat tengok camera work dia sangat baik kat sini and then how they push the character, how the uh, the the bloody scene 
and the killing but I think ready or not tu terlalu uh, gory <laughs> tapi dekat sini they have some level of gory daripada first act until third act so the third act will boom your mind lah bagi berapa aku is work because the suspense is there the horror is there Uh, cuma aku aku suka sebab dia ambil elemen baru ya. I know that this scream is a parody of all the horror film, tapi kali ini dia mengambil parody dengan cara break the fourth wall ya, eh? iaitu dia menggunakan kita punya minat yang orang asyik dok cakap kenapa Hollywood kentatusan idea, kenapa Hollywood macam ni, dia masukkan juga dalam dalam ni. Maksud, maksudnya dia kutuk dalam tiga layer. First layer is the kutuk the the horror punya genre. Second dia kutuk kalau kau dalam situasi tu takkanlah kau tak buat benda bodoh macam tu. Contoh, contoh ya. Macam nak ceritalah masa Tara ni spoiler kan. Tara ada kat hospital, the first thing hidup masa lampu tutup. Kau punya phone kat situ. Kau pergilah call polis. Kan kau pergi pergi. Huh? Phone tengah ringing dengan kau nak keluar, kau tak tahu benda dengan sakit. Aku aku cak eh ambil phone, ambil phone kau keluar juga memang horror movie betul lah. Memang dia parody habis lah. Dan Jump scare yang tak boleh jadi. Every time somebody opens a fucking door. It's good. It's good. Sebab I'm expecting that to happen. And masa dan West punya apa? Yang The Judy punya anak tu punya suspend. Aku macam empat kali berdebar. Dia nak datang. Tak datang. datang. Lala sekali. Zam. Kena. So I love it lah. Because is dia tak fokus pada jump scare. Dia fokus more into the flow of the story. And then lepas tu. Uh, the ghost face datang. Dengan cara... Betul, itulah pembunuh bersiri akan datang dengan cara yang, yang kau tak expect. Kalau kalau aku lah berdasarkan dia, kalau aku buka pintu peti sejuk, aku mesti macam ni. Oh, oh. Tapi dia macam aku nak gitu datang. Macam tak ada apa-apa fokus, lah. memang datang kau situ aku macam disko disko. Uh, I did not like the LKF cards, you know. Some F words were censored, some F words were not censored. So this should be consistent lah. It's ridiculous lah. This lembaga penapisan filem punya cuts. LPF kat sini memang sucks as fuck. So banyak sangat scene yang dekat and also the uh, the T word pun dia nak cut dah kenapa sial? Fuck you, fuck you shit as whole tu semua orang dah tahu. So tak payah nak mengada-ngada nak cut semua benda yang ada dekat dalam filem ni sebabnya even kau beli Blu-ray, this anak-anak kau pun boleh tengok juga kalau kau bagi. So sama je dekat Netflix pun ada benda-benda ni. So kalau kau rasa audien ni dah bodoh sangat ataupun tak suka sangat dengan filem-filem ni, I think not sebabnya kita tahu uh, kita punya bar level dekat mana untuk uh, penonton berfikir. Sebabnya rasanya untuk klasifikasi 18 LPF rasanya dah boleh move on lah daripada kad-kad benda yang tak masuk akal ni. Ya. Ah fuck ah fuck LPF. Kau undi aku lah, aku ganti LPF. Babi betul. <laughs> Tak sumpah aku kata, filem dah 18 tahun ke atas. Apa kejadah kau pergi cut-cut banyak benda pula? Kalau gore yang terlalu melampau tu aku fahamlah juga. Tapi dia kacau story apa lancau sial. Eh, hey, babi. Aku ingatkan dia mati off screen apa ke sial lah. So benda tu, benda tu kacau, itu yang paling palat lah aku tengok untuk filem ni. Dia dia bukan masalah filem, dia masalah kita punya LPF. Cut filem ni memang totally suck. Even kalau cut yang carut-carut tu, kalau sekali dua tu faham lah juga. Ini sampai uh, hampir empat second, no words, no sound. Sebab kena cut. Apa lancar, sial. I like the fact that uh, script dia ada meta sikit because that's what makes the movie interesting. Even the first movie, it was like poking fun at only horror films, but not films in general. But this script, they poke fun at not only horror films, they poke at pop culture and other films of other genre. At the end of the day, fandom doesn't really take control of the franchise of the movie. It's up to the filmmakers uh, to take control of the franchise. But it's just that the filmmakers make you believe that the fandom is in control of the franchise. We live in an age yang banyak requels and legacy sequels. So just like all the previous three movies, they all had something to say. The second movie uh, had a lot to say about sequels. The third movie had a lot to say about uh, finishing a trilogy. Scream 4 had a lot to say about remakes. So Scream 5 is about legacy sequels, requels. Kita banyak tengok sekarang kan. And I think it did a, memang a great job. Maybe some people would say it, it's a little bit too much. Tapi to me it's it's really good. It feels like the first movie again. Sebab uh, it's uh, I mean it's still horror. Tapi if you know Wes Craven's style, his style has never been fully horror. There's always a bit of comedy, a bit of self-aware mental commentary in there. So there's a lot of that in there. If you're a fan of movies, memang there's a lot for you to digest dalam movie ni. Sebab ada banyak dia banyak reference ada movies. The script does so in a smart way. Not like macam it doesn't just throw in your face macam reference here and there. It does so in a smart way yang criticise the way legacy sequels are being done now. 
uh, and about toxic fandom was semua it's all in there so to me it's a very timely movie Memang patut keluar sekarang in a age of sequels and requels and franchises. Sebenarnya benda tu memang dikekalkan daripada screen 1, 2, 3 dan 4 masih dikekalkan. Cuma yang ni dia bagi bagi punch gila babi kau ah macam oh right in the face ya. Fan fans semua tersentak oh tengok cerita ni. <laughs> Tapi memang best ah. Even even kalau kau bukan fan pun kau akan enjoy the the gore, the scream, the the horror, the thriller. Oh my god, memang best gila. Okay. Sebagai apa tu uh nonton i think banyak dah tonton filem yang meta macam ni uh, this one is good lah juga script dia as a first one sebab kita dapat uh, lihat commentary dekat screen 5 pun uh, agak menarik eh kalau boleh kena lawak komedi dia pun sama lah. macam like kita tonton yang filem 1 hingga 4 juga bagi berapa aku is uh, betul-betul suka sebab aku sebagai seorang fandom Star Wars yang disakiti oleh Kathleen Kennedy so ya yeah, aku suka filem dia bila dia kutuk benda macam tu tetapi kita dapat nampak eh bahawasanya scream ni rasanya 2011 kan nombor 4 baru keluar dah salim mesti the, the studio sana kata eh, kita nak buat duit lagi ah ya. sama macam matrix juga eh. kalau nak tahu kita nak buat duit lagi so macam mana so dia gunakan platform ni scream number no. 5 sebagai nak mengutuk juga uh, hollywood ni in a very macam aku nak cakap dalam benda yang agak membina sebab dia beritahu this is how you supposed to respect all the nostalgia things. Tetapi in the sense dia gunakan benda ni untuk buat duit juga sebab kalau kau tengok opening weekend ni kalahkan Spider-Man aku macam okey. So mak maksudnya kalau kau mengutuk diri kau sendiri dengan cari niat kau nak mengutuk kau boleh buat duit. Sekiranya anda enjoy menonton video ini, jangan lupa untuk like, share dan subscribe kepada Bas Pop TV. Untuk lebih banyak video-video yang berkaitan dengan pop culture daripada komik, TV, filem, mainan dan juga banyak lagi. Majulah fandom untuk negara.